here I have the Samsung Epic 4G for the Sprint Network. There's all kinds of reviews online, as you all know, on these phones. But um, what I wanted to show a little bit more of is the uh, emulators and how well they run on here and how well they look on here or how good they look on here but um what I've got installed is Super Nintendo, Nintendo, Sega, Atari, Game Boy Color and Game Boy so I'm just gonna throw up the old Nintendo or Super Nintendo here and pick one you can use a virtual on-screen joystick or you can map the keys however you would like. This uh, phone has a one gigahertz Hummingbird processor and um, I haven't had a game pause on me, hiccup, anything, it just, they run perfectly. Just pick one here and show you. See no problems with it running at all. Um, close that one out. Go back and I'll show you the on screen. Um, this is taking a second to load because I have several of the uh, Nintendo ROMs on here. But I'll show you what the on screen keyboard looks like, or on screen joystick. Um, Oops, hang on. Just do that one. As you can see, you got the uh, controls up here A and B, and then start and select. So every time you press a button, it, the phone it will vibrate a little bit so you know that um, you've hit the button. It's kind of a pain because you know, your thumbs are here, so you're blocking a lot of the screen, but um, I'd rather use the keyboard mapping to, uh, to play, because it's just, you can't see what's going on. So that's that one. Said we got Game Boy, uh, Sega Genesis. They're all the same. Said there's just this phone has no problems playing them whatsoever. So before. This one's got the on-screen. I haven't got the keys set up on this one yet either.
So that's it. Just a quick review on how well the phone plays the games and um, how good they look on the uh, Epic 4G. So that's it. Thank you for watching.